notice from the Record and Information Security Administration. The following documents were transmitted autonomously from an alternate universe, later designated AU610, per Statement 3.1 of the 1981 Multi-Foundation Collision Agreement, which stipulates that, in case of irreparable XK-class event, or similar, relevant documents shall be autonomously disseminated to all other Collision members for cautionary purposes. Salvador and Colin Petroleum would like to make a public announcement. There has been a leak of dangerous chemicals used in the manufacture of petroleum products and you must follow the guidance within this video to stay safe. The chemicals which have leaked are airborne and are extremely hazardous to human health. They can cause rashes, coughing fits, and severe internal damage. Avoid areas which have a high density of airborne leaked chemicals. If you encounter someone who has a severe rash or a severe cough, you should remove yourself from the area immediately and contact your local authorities so that the person may be given medical attention. Salvador and Colin Petroleum is working with national governments and local authorities to clean up the leaked chemicals and to provide emergency medical care to those affected by this chemical leak. Thank you for your attention at this time. Salvador and Colin Petroleum will repair the damages caused. Salvador and Colin Petroleum. Fueling the future. Emergency alert. Please pay close attention. This alert is from the SCP Foundation, which is a secret non-governmental organization dedicated to the safety and security of humanity against anomalies. Salvador and Colin Petroleum is a front company of the SCP Foundation. The chemical leak reported earlier this week is not really a chemical leak, but an anomalous disease. This biological anomaly is named SCP-610, and spreads through airborne spores, or through contact with those infected by it. SCP-610 causes a skin rash, coughing, internal damage, mutation, and increased aggression. SCP-610 infects individuals and turns them into rampaging monsters. Approximately 100,000 civilians have been transformed by the SCP-610 disease, and the SCP Foundation has made the decision to reveal itself and the true nature of SCP-610. All civilians worldwide must take certain steps to protect themselves from SCP-610, and the mutated individuals created by SCP-610. To protect yourself from the disease, you should wear face coverings, stay in well-ventilated areas, and avoid contact with infected persons. If you encounter an individual with a severe rash, you should leave the area quickly and contact local authorities so the individual may be terminated. The SCP Foundation plans to evacuate areas close to the main numbers of SCP-610 infected individuals, then bomb the area to terminate the anomalies. If your area must be evacuated, a message will be sent to you through radio, television, text, and social media. Please follow the instructions of this message. Thank you for your cooperation at this time. The SCP Foundation will have the situation under control soon. Secure. Contain. Protect. Emergency alert. Please pay close attention. Please be aware, SCP Foundation evacuations have been officially halted. The Abuja, Sydney, Beijing, Mexico City, and Ganzir safe zones are closed to refugees. Any civilians who attempt to enter a safe zone from an SCP-610 infected zone will be terminated on site to prevent the transmission of the SCP-610 infection. Civilians inside safe zones are not to leave for any reason. 
SCP-610 infected areas have high spore density and you will be mutated within minutes without protection. The SCP Foundation will make an announcement if there are any changes to these policies. Thank you for your attention and cooperation. Secure. Contain. Protect.